So far we've output text and we've light up LEDs. Now let's make some noises. We can use the nightlight circuit with a small addition and create a musical instrument called a theremin. And the theremin works by moving your hand up and down. Because we've got this photosensitive resistor, we can use that light and dark sensitivity to see where your hand is in proportion to the sensor and make the tone go up and down. We add a buzzer, which you might have in your kit, or I've stripped down broken headphones. That works the same. And put it on pin 9. One side of the buzzer or the speaker needs power, which we'll provide from pin 9, and the other needs ground. And the way it works is if it has current, then it activates the electromagnet and the frequency creates a tone. As before, we've got an LED on pin 10 and we've got the input on analog zero. And all we've added is when we get a reading, we map a sound value between 100 and 255, and you can tweak these. These are the frequencies we want to output. So the lowest is 100, the highest is 255. And then when we analog write for the LED, we also use the tone function, which is pretty much similar, and it uses the buzzer and the sound value. If you want to play recognisable music, the Arduino needs to be pushed to its limits because it doesn't have that hardware. But it can emulate that kind of thing by rapidly refreshing a buzzer or a speaker and with some special software that can convert MIDI files into byte data that can be put through the Playtune library. And the Playtune library is a really clever library. I can't pronounce his name, so I'll not attempt it. He's provided a tool for actually converting the files, and he's provided a library that can play those back. So I'll show you the code, and then we'll look at including the library, because it doesn't come with Arduino, and converting an example file. So we include the library. And this is the data we get from his special tool. All we have to do is paste it in in the right place. You don't have to understand it. And you can see we're pushing the limits of the Arduino because we're using quite a lot of memory just in that data. It creates an object that uh, has all the features built in so we don't have to understand how it works. and it has to use three pins, which I'm using not the default, but three, six, and nine, because I want to, in the next example, use some pins for the LEDs. And to start playing, we just provide it with the data from before, which here I'm calling score, but you could call it whatever you want, as long as it's allowed by the Arduino. And then in the loop, we see if it's not playing. If it's not playing, it means it's finished, so we can use their Playtune version of delay, which still works because the normal delay is kind of disabled by using the approach that they've used to produce these sounds. So using their delay, it doesn't block anything, it doesn't use any interrupts, and we can wait five seconds and then start playing again. On the desktop, we go to the sketch menu and add a zip library. Once we've found the zip, we can just select it, upload it, and it uncompresses it, includes it in the library. 
on the web version there's a library tab and then you can upload the same way and find the zip file select it and upload it The MIDI Tones conversion program is a .exe, it only will run on Windows. And we have to use the command line, so you have to start the cmd.exe or find the command line tool in your applications. The same guy has a different version called Playtune Poll that can do many more simultaneous voices. Rather than it being a library, you have to download a sketch with three files. So the first file has the data which we paste in. So I've pasted in the data we just created. The second file, you have to choose 
which device you're using. So I've used Nano, which is basically the same as Uno, and chopped out everything else. So you'll find at the top there's a define, and we use the, the name of the device that you want to use instead of what comes in by default, which I think is the Teensy. And as you can see, there's lots of pins required. So your Arduino is not going to do much more else than just play this music. And then finally, there's uh, another file that you need to include, play tune poll. So when this is compiled, it's essentially a eight channel audio device.